In this video, I explain two type of rotary actuators means hydraulic motor or a pneumatic motor. First one is the straight axis piston motor and second one is the bent axis piston motor. First we understand the straight axis piston motor. Straight axis piston motor is shown in figure. Now here you see this is the diagram of the straight axis piston motor. The construction of the straight axis piston motor is same as the straight axis piston pump okay just input and output is changed in a pump we supplied the mechanical energy as a input okay in a motors we achieve the mechanical energy as a output in a straight axis piston motor the cylinder block is fitted to the driver shaft now here you see this is the cylinder block inside the cylinder block the number of hole is provided and inside this hole, this piston is reciprocates. Okay. And this cylinder is connected with this driver shaft. Here you see this green color portion is the side the driver shaft. This blue color portion is the cylinder block. Here it's mentioned. And in the cylinder block, various hole is provided. The axis of rotation of cylinder block and the driver shaft are same. Means here you see that is a straight axis is there. Means axis of this cylinder block and axis of the driver shaft are same. That's why it is called as the straight axis piston motor now inside this cylinder block two hole is there and inside this hole this piston one is mounted and here you see the second piston is there okay so depending on this requirement in a cylinder block 8 to 12 holes are provided and 8 to 12 pistons are provided the shoe plate is mounted on a swash plate which is fixed at an angle to the axis of rotations now this piston is connected with this shoe plate here by using this ball joint or a spherical joints okay and this shoe plate is connected with this swash plate okay and they are in the installs on this driven shaft the angle of swiss plate can be vary to change the speed of the motors means if we need to change the speed of the motors we need to change this angle of this swash plate okay and if we change the angle of swash plate we are able to change the speed of the motor when working fluid is supplied to the inlet it exert the force on the pistons means here you see there is a one inlet is provided and here this outlet is there okay from this inlet we supplied the hydraulic oil if this is the hydraulic motors and suppose it is the pneumatic motors then we supplied the compressed air or a gas so when this working fluid is supplied to the inlet it exert the force on the piston okay so when this oil or a gas is applied the force on the piston piston is start to reciprocate and due to this reciprocation the cylinder block is also start to rotate so due to which cylinder block rotate and the cylinder block it is attached with the shaft so shaft is also start to rotate and the working fluid come out from the outlet so from this end the working fluid is coming out so our main Function is to achieve the mechanical energy and this mechanical energy is achieved by using this shaft. Now before moving on the second time, second type, I request to like the video and subscribe my channels for watching the more video related to the OHP as well as the other subject of the mechanical engineering. For the OHP, the various link is provided in descriptions as well as in a card. Card means on a top right screen of your mobiles or laptop, you see the eye symbols. For other subject, I request to visit the playlist of my channels now the second type is the bent axis piston pump why its name is given the bent axis piston pump because the cylinder block axis and this shaft axis are different means they are at the certain angles so that's why it is called as the bent axis piston motor bent axis piston motor is shown in this figure they have same components okay so here you see this is the inlet this is the outlet this is the cylinder block here the already mentions inside the block hall is provided in a hall piston is there okay and here additionally universal joint is added here you see this name is given universal joints okay and instance of the swash plate the name is used that is a flange okay and this flange is connected with the shaft so this is the cylinder block inside the cylinder block various hall is provided and inside the halls the piston is reciprocates and cylinder block is rotated in bent axis piston motor the shoe plate is fixed to a flange and the flange is key to the driver shaft 
means in a earlier case in means in a straight axis piston motor the shoe plate and sway plates are installed on a driver shaft means a shaft of the motor but in this case the shoe plate is fixed to the flange means shoe plate and the flange are mixed and this flange are key to the driver shaft means by using the key joint the flange is fit on the driver shaft that's why it is a key to the driver shaft what is mentioned the axis of cylinder block and that of the flange are intersecting at angles so here you see this is the axis of the cylinder is this okay they are at the certain angles and this is the axis of the shaft okay this axis of the shaft or axis of the flange okay and they are inter intersecting at the certain angles that's why it is called as the bent axis piston motor a universal link couple means universal joint couple the flange and the cylinder block so here you see this is the block cylinder block and this is the flange or a shaft and they are connected by using these universal joints here you see this the universal joint is coupled the cylinder block as well as the flange when working fluid is supplied to the inlet it exerts the force on the piston so from this end suppose the oil is enters okay they applied some force on the piston and piston is start to reciprocate and cylinder is start to block due to the pressure of oil or a compressed air or gas and when the piston is start to reciprocate means the inlet fluid is applied some force on the piston due to which the cylinder block is rotated and cylinder block is rotated so cylinder block is attached with the flange and the shaft by using this universal joint okay means rotational motions of the cylinder block is transferred to the shaft okay and working fluid is coming out from the outlet means working fluid is coming out from some another holes so thank you for watching this video if you learn something then like the video and subscribe my channels for watching the more video related to the mechanical engineering and share with your friend